last assembly in our fancy cube. We're going to go ahead and bring out our last piece, which is going to be the top. Again, you might need to uh, have it create the version that you need. Green check mark. And this time, we're going to use a planar mate first, but then we're going to use a ball mate. And that's going to allow us to make this a flappy lid that's going to open up on this. So let's start with the planar mate. On the planar mate, we're going to come here and we're going to choose this side of my name. And I'm going to choose this left side. Green check mark. And it's okay that it's not, that it's just jammed in there. I'm going to pick it up and move it out of the way so that I can kind of see what I'm doing still. And now I'm going to use this ball mate. This is going to allow us to make this lid be a flappy lid. Uh, so it'll flap open and close. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this back line on the front face. So I'm going to go click and I chose the base, just that back line. It's not the back face, it's the back line. And now I'm going to choose the front line on my top. When I click on it, it puts it into place. Green check mark. And now I have a lid that will flap open and close because we're going to be putting some stuff inside of this. So we want it to be able to open and close. So there we go. Now, what does that mean you're going to turn in? You're going to turn in a front view screenshot and you're going to turn in a back view screenshot. I need both screenshots front view and back view and that's what you're going to turn in good luck